So Odoo's version 16 help desk functionality has gotten a little more awesome. And as we know, the version 16 is an extremely awesome release anyways, superior in its um, features that increase the productivity of the user. This is known to be a, a, a broad statement by Odoo Marketing, but for version 16 really got a lot of small goodies. One of them is how help desks can be useful for organizations. So we just discovered very um, quickly the, how we could set up a, an, a help desk for managing our office affairs. So as any company which has you know a handful of people, there's office administrative work, um, there's usually one person who is managing this work and this person is sort of like the go-to person for everything related to your payroll, your bills payment, your maybe sometimes bills collection and uh, external things, ordering stuff for the office and, uh, you know, approving leaves or managing the leave paperwork and, and the opening the post and close and sending letters away and so on and so forth. There's so much these people do. And they're usually in a multitasking, um, micro tasking way multitasking because they do deal with a breadth of different things and microtasking is because usually those tasks are something that are taken care of in minutes before they move on and they iterate through that a whole day um, so it so happens that Odoo is providing the help desk and what we are seeing here is that for that kind of a role either if it is an in-house role or it's an outsourced role which is ever more popular and ever more possible because of tools like Odoo, we can look into the help desk functionality. So what we have here is in our setup, a pretty um, simple setup. We've got all our customer help desk tickets going into, into, into a different team. You can configure the teams up here. I just flash our teams here. There are two, one for admin, one for custom, customer care. I'll go back to the overview and let's look at the customer care. What we have is um, all our tickets coming in here. We've got about 27 tickets right now that are that are in here. And we have in our office one colleague who is actually looking at various um, admin tasks. This colleague does come under a, some amount of stress for um, for just being able to keep the, the whole um, office work um, intact, which is usually something that software is able to do pretty well, generally speaking. So we got all our um, tickets that are going, so all our office goes into this one mailbox called M87, and we, um, we connected this mailbox through, and it's a Gmail mailbox, so it looks something like this. And we connected this mailbox to um, to the help desk through mail integration incoming servers. And just make sure that you you are um, thinking or taking care of the um, low security apps, right? Uh, setting that Google has. Um, you can see that over in just a second over here on a page that a documentation page so you can read up a little bit and less secure apps on your Google account and and uh, this help page will help you to deactivate that setting in case you're having uh, authentication errors on mail integration once you have the mail integrated um, then you will see that under settings of this particular help desk team you can associate a mail alias and that's what we did over here and then you can set up a few um, office users and um, the office users can can be multiple people, maybe part-times as well, who will be auto-assigned certain tickets. We have one colleague right now and we're hoping to expand this to um, one or two part-time colleagues as well. And this um, this help desk is, is, is really awesome for them to sort of act as an internal service desk, right? So that's it. And as usual, it's always possible to maintain various uh, things here um, in, in, in stages and sort of close or cancel things. It's also possible to delete. Not everything has to be maintained here. Um, so I have, for example, something that's, um, that's from a bank, from our bank. And it seems like um, we have um, we have some some questions that are coming up here. So we don't need to delete this one. But if you do need to uh, have a frivolous uh, mails that are coming in or already processed mails, they can be deleted or they can be archived. So um, that's a really great feature as well. What I'm hoping to um, see sooner rather than later is converting these tickets into other order documents. Let's let's consider an invoice. Let's just assume that there's an invoice. 
and that invoice if this could be converted into um, into um, into a, a, a vendor bill then such a mailbox which is an office mailbox can actually have connections into the um, the, the vendor area and the uh, so so the purchase area and possibly other areas as well. It's hard to imagine that such a mailbox receives project mails or sales mails. Once in a while, they might be receiving sales mails if it's a small company that's operating uh, that has published a webs an email address on the website and that's connected to the, the internal service desk, then it's possible that sales inquiries come in through. For the, all those reasons, it would be great to convert tickets in the future into other Odoo documents, um, but we'll wait and see how Odoo will innovate and iterate on that. So that's it for this video. Um, hope you can use this functionality of HIP help desk for, to increase the productivity in your team. We certainly have gotten gotten started to get mileage on this. And um, yeah, let us know in your in, in the comments if you have questions, if you need help setting this up, if you'd like us to set this up for you, or any any um, any any new ideas that might be useful for the community. Thanks a lot and have yourselves a nice evening.